Hola amigos, this is Somvir and welcome back to CodePipe. We are currently designing backend for our e-commerce website. We have already seen user registration and authentication. In this video, we will see how to make database of our products. And this database can be added from the seller dashboard. So let's get started. This is our web page. First of all, we will sign up as seller. Signing up as in seller will give us a chance to test things for customer and seller different. So let me sign up as a seller. I will use the email which is seller at the gmail.com. Let me sign up. It is saying your profile was created and I have the seller gmail. Let's sign in. We are getting the account page with the name seller which means we are successfully signed up. Now let's try to go to the seller dashboard and if we see here we don't have the dashboard link as of now. So what we need to do is we will go to the admin of this site login as admin. We will go to app users. We have seller. We will change this to seller. Let's save this. Let's log out of here. Under our web page, let's log in as seller. Now we should be able to see the dashboard link. And here it is. Just to refresh our memory, let me show you how we are getting this dashboard link. So this is our base.html. And we can see here we have used a condition. If the request user user type is equal to s which means seller we will get the link dashboard otherwise we will not get the link so here we'll go to the dashboard here we can see we have different pages under the name add item currently they do not redirect to anywhere this is what we are going to do in this video we will make seller able to add all these things and some other things using this dashboard the first step to make our database in django is we need to make models and what models do we make let me tell you in this section we are going to make all these tables or models which is related to seller or products we will have a category subcategory product color size variation review rating discount offer and deal this variation is related to product and we will have a good discussion on this once we come to the topic so let's make all these models i will be using the application product models.py to make all our models here we can see we do not have any model. So let me create my first model here which will be category models.model For the field I just want name and I want image of this category so that we can show it using an image. For name I am going to use character field giving it a length of 100 characters and I want to keep this unique. Why because not two categories can be same right? And basically we will be making these categories as men and women for the image. I am going to use image field which will look something like this. Here I am using a upload to and we are using a function here or a method which I will create in a moment. After this I will define a string method which will take self and I want to return self.name. Now about this category image. This method or function should return where our image will be saved. So let me define it. So the category image function will look something like this. It will take an instance or object of this class and it will take the file name of this image that we will be uploading. Here we can do one thing. We can directly give the path where we want to save our image. But we also want to rename our image and we want to put it in a specified folder. So at the top we will provide a upload folder which will be instance name dot files meaning this name underscore files. So if we are making a category of men the folder will be men files. Then we will use the file name of the image uploaded and split it so that we can get the extension of the image. We will use this extension to rename the image as name of this category underscore image dot the extension extracted from the file name. And at the end we will return the complete path. Let's import OS here. Here we have created a model used a image field where we are uploading it to a certain folder with a certain name. Since we are trying to handle images, we need to install pillow and here also we can see we are getting error which says to install pillow. So I will break the server and I will install pillow. Pip install pillow. It will take a moment and we have successfully installed pillow. The next step is we need to add this into our admin.py so that we are able to see that in our admin page. So we will go to admin. Here I will use from.models import everything. So that we don't have to use names again and again. Here I will say admin dot site dot register category. Let's migrate these changes. For that first I will use 
make migrations python manage.py make migrations it will make migrations in all of the applications in django here we can see we have created the model category now we can migrate this python manage.py migrate now let's run our server and check in our admin page on our admin page we can see we have our product application and inside that we have our model category if we try to add a category we can say it is asking for name and image but we don't want to add from here we want to add from the dashboard so let's make a page for add category and for that we will go to product views .py, and below that we will make add views and the first one we want to create is add category view for that we will use class add category and the view we want to use is we want to use create view this is a class based view and this makes it very easy for us to create something so we are going to use this class to get more information on what views are used and what are their methods and other things there is a cool website let me tell you the website is ccbv.co.uk under here we will get all class based views and what are the functions let's say if we are going to use create view here we can see what attributes are there and what methods does it allow so have a look coming back to our create view what we need to do is we need to give it a model we need to give fields and we need to give template name and using this it will automatically give us a form that will be used to create the model category we don't have this template as of now so let's create one we will go to products templates we will create a new folder with the name add items under here i will make the page add category dot html here i want to use the template for seller so let me go to seller application and take any template let me take this seller dashboard dot html let's copy all of this and go to add category let's paste this I have extended seller base.html and I have used this dash content block so I will delete everything in this dash content so that we will get a blank page for test purpose I will put here this is test let's go back to our views.py now we have this template we have this model but let's not forget to import this from dot models import everything next step is to make the URL for this so we'll go to urls.py we will give some space make a heading add items and here we will create a new path for our add category which will be add category we are using the view of add category view dot as view and we will give a name of add category now we will use this name in our seller dashboard where we want to redirect the user to this add category page so we will go to seller base here we are looking for the navigation with the name add category and here it is so i will use the url template tagging url product name of application and the page url which is add category let's check our web page here if we click on this add item category we are getting this page where we are getting this is test so our template is working now let's put the form here that is created by create view and that will be used to create our category so we'll go to add category.html and we will remove this i will paste this code to add our form let me explain you this is just a heading which will say add category and here is our form we just need to put it inside a form tag we need to provide a csrf token and this is the form that is provided by the create view now let's see it in the web page we refresh this is the form we are getting this is the name field this is the image field and we have this submit button this is not looking good so to make it look good there is something called django crispy forms so let's install django crispy forms so i'll use pip install django crispy forms once this is installed we need to go to settings.py and add it into our installed apps so under here we will add crispy forms with this we need to also include one more thing which is template pack so we are using bootstrap 4 for our crispy template pack now we can go to our add category.html on the top under load static we can use load crispy forms tags now with this form we can use crispy so that it will beautify or make a good representation of our form if we refresh our web page 
we can see here we are getting a good looking form just by using crispy forms. Let us do one more thing that is important while we are handling images inside the models that is setting up our media URL and media path. So let me show you what we need to do. So in our settings.py first we will check if we have media URL set up which we don't. So we will set up the media URL. So we will use this. Why we are setting up this media root and media URL is when we are trying to upload our images using the models it will take the media URL and this is where it will be stored. So the stored images will be media slash men files or women files or any other folder that you will be creating and this media will also be used when we are trying to fetch the images into our web page. We will get to see that in the next section but for now let us continue our setup for media root. The next step is to go to urls.py and under here we will paste this. We are just getting the media root and media URL from settings and we are adding it to the URLs. And a side note here is we will just do this while we are in the debug is equal to true. If we are putting the website on server we will not require this. Just keep this in mind. Now we are all set to add a category through seller in our dashboard. So I will refresh this once and let's try to add a category. I will say men and let me choose a file. I already have images in my static so I will use a random image here. Let's open this and let's try to submit. Here we are getting the error no URL to redirect to. So there are two ways we can do this. One we can add get absolute URL in our model or we can provide a success URL in our view. So we are going with the view. In our views.py under this add category we will define get success URL. The success URL will look something like this. So whenever we are trying to get the success URL it will redirect it to itself which is product add category. We are using reverse lazy here because unless and until it is called it will not be active. So this is to save some computation. Let's import this from django.urls import reverse lazy. Since we are in views I would like to take this opportunity to tell you how we can add a message into our view that will be displayed once our product or the category is created. Here we will import something with the name success message mixin from Django contrib messages. We will put this into our create view. And here we can give the success message which will look something like this category was added successfully. You might remember this from our sign in and sign up view that we have used in functions and here we are using it as a mix in. So let me add this message HTML in our add category. Here I will use these lines so that I am able to see the messages if we are passing it along the context. So let's see how this will look in our web page. So on our web page let's refresh this continue it is saying category with this name already exists which means we are trying to save men again. So let's try to add women. Let's take any image and let's submit this. Here we can see we are getting the message as category was added successfully and we are being redirected to the same page which means reverse lazy is also working. So this is how we can make a add category page and we can do the similar thing for all the category product deal blog store etc. After this we will make the other models. We will use the same technique that we have used for category. So let me do it quickly and show you. So here I am after adding all the models and everything. Let me tell you what I did. Before that since we have already set up our media crispy forms and all the other things that needed to be taken care of at the first time we have done everything. Now the process we need to follow is first we need to create our model as we have done with the category. We have done with the different models which is subcategory using image field to upload an image and this image will be uploaded to a path given by this method. So we have color, we have size, we have product, we have product variation which we will discuss in depth in a later video. Then we have rating, discount, offer, deal. Once we make our model we can put them in admin.py then we can make our migrations, migrate them. Then we will go to views.py, make a class based view or function based view as per your convenience. I am using create view. Once we create the view, we will add the template. So add subcategory. If we go to our templates, add items, add subcategory. 
we can see here we are giving a form in crispy and we are providing the message here this is a simple html form page and it is extending from sellerbase.html now coming back to views we are done with the template and view we will put this in our urls like this add subcategory since we are using class based view we will make as underscore view and we will give a name after this we will go to seller base and use this name for url template tagging something like this earlier we have little options but i have added some more so here we can say i have used template url tagging to redirect our subcategory add page to where we need it and this is all we have to do to add our form into the html page so let's see how it is working on the web page so here we have add category page let's refresh and if we go for subcategory we have this form here we will choose a category name let's make any subcategory i will say round neck t-shirt i will choose a file any random file and i will submit this here we can say subcategory was added successfully we are getting the message and like this we can add sizes colors product discount deal offer and other things and let's check our admin page for confirmation logging in as admin here we have all the models let's check for category we have men and women let's check for subcategory we have this men round neck t-shirt which we have just added so this is how we can create a database and use our seller dashboard to add all the details into the database and i think this is a good point to conclude our video here in the next video we will see in-depth relationship about all these models to one another so stick around for that let me know your thoughts in the comment section leave a thumbs up if you like the video if you are coming here for the first time do not forget to hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell to not miss out any videos we will meet very soon with a new video until then this is somewhere taking your leave adios